What's up guys? As always, thanks for stopping back by the channel. So today, I'm going to get into the business side of things. Got a couple uh, followers and subscribers asked me a couple questions about the business side of things. So I figured I'd just make it short and sweet. Get into it. So check it out. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so these videos do pretty well. You know, I do these business side videos to just let you got, you know, you inspiring shop owners or you guys out there maybe, you know, a year or two still fresh, you know, shop ownership out there, you know, kind of share my experience, the things I've gone through and things like that. Uh, but to talk about the book side of it. Now, the question is, should you hire a CPA or accountant? maybe right away when you open up a business or should you hire one at all should you have one at all I personally have one here um, I've had one since the beginning I've had a few now um, you know CP accountants are kinda like uh, you know it's kinda like finding the glove that fits you know you gotta find the right one for you you know some accountants really don't know this side of you know between retail wholesale labor markup things like that you know but the accountant I have now is a good guy. It took me a while to find it, but you know he definitely gets the job done. Now hiring one, you know if you have the time, they're not always needed. So you know it's not like you need an accountant. You know if you yourself could do the books, you know balance the books, tell you your profit and loss, things like that. They got you know computer programs, QuickBooks, Intuit, all that stuff on there that help you out through it. It's more about the time. You know, see me, I would like to do it. I like to be more hands on. And I do often check where I'm at just to make sure the accountant's going down the right path, make sure I'm going down the right path. But it's great to have an accountant because it takes the time off of me. I could focus more on, you know, advertising. I could focus more on being here at the shop, being out there, having hands-on things and not, you know, crammed up in the back on a computer, you know, finding out where I'm at, what I got to do, you know, what needs to go where, what taxes need to be paid, sales tax, all that stuff. So having an accountant you know help balance that and put everything where it needs to be and it's one less thing for you to worry about it is worth it you know you don't always need it but it is worth it now my accountant also handles the payroll and that's one less thing we didn't always have it that way he usually just balanced the books for me you know made sure giving my estimated taxes for each quarter you know made sure my sales tax were paid all that stuff but uh, you know since then busier shop busier times you know I got him doing payroll now uh, it just makes it a lot easier. You know, I know it's taken care of. You know, yes, I still have to work with him, send him the information he needs. He needs to log on, you know, to the business account banking, all that. You got, he's got to have access to all that stuff. So setting all that up does take some time, but you know, once we get rolling, you know, it's pretty much good to go. I know that things are going to be taken care of, and if they're not, he's going to bring it to my attention and tell me where I need to be with it. So is it in worth? Is it worth investing into an accountant? you know, or a CPA starting off a business, you know, if you have it and you're going through a lot of paperwork and you're doing a lot of sales, yes, definitely have an accountant. You know, that's my advice. You always want someone, it's just another person on your team also. You know, you got another guy pretty much working for you, getting the things done, you know, behind the scenes things done. You know, it's not just about pulling a car and getting the work done and pulling it out, putting the money in a cash box. You know, there's a lot more to it than that. You know, there, like I said in my videos, even on the business side of things, there's a lot more to, you know, making a $100 job than just taking $100 and putting it in your pocket. That $100 needs to get divvied up to where it needs to go before you even see, you know, you or the tech or anybody even sees a profit out of it. So my advice to you guys out there, you guys, you know, shop owners, I know I'm sure some of you guys, you know, already have an accountant or a CPA that works for you, but, you know, I definitely recommend it, especially if you got a small family, you know, or if you got... You know, if you're hands-on and you already have a busy lifestyle, you know, it takes less things off there. But it's not needed because they do have programs out there. There's plenty of resources out there that will help you put the numbers where they need to go. You know, it pretty much breaks it down. So one program I used off the top of my head was QuickBooks, like I mentioned. Um, I'll try to leave a link down in the description where you can find that. I'm sure most of you guys know about QuickBooks. There's a few other ones out there um, that I was looking at. can't remember the name, but I know we still use uh, the Excel, Microsoft Excel. Some of the stuff's super cheap. Um, QuickBooks, you could buy the hard copy you know, with it. You could get the book side of it. You could get the accounting side of it. Um, you know, it's, a, it's a great program, great thing to use, easy to use, easy to set up. Um, you could download it straight off the computer or buy the disc for it. Um, but, you know, it, it's something, you know, getting into it, we used to do it. I didn't mind it at first. 
Um, you know, being here, it was something new to me. I like learning, but you know, I didn't become a mechanic to sit behind a computer. You know, no offense to anybody that does, but I didn't want to sit and stare at a computer for you know another five, six hours, or even if it's two hours a day, or you know, 16 hours a week, whatever it is. You know, it, to to crunch numbers. You know, I want to be out there hands on. I want to get my hands dirty, turning wrenches and things like that, doing the things that I like to do, not not pushing a bunch of numbers. At first, it was nice, nice learning curve, and I and I wanted to know a little bit about it, just so I know when I did hire the CPA. You know, he was kind of doing the things that I wanted done, but you leave it to the professionals. You know, I'd rather pay the guy to do what he went to school for to do, get the job done to make sure you know my shop's running, you know, smooth sailing ship, knowing everything's going to be taken care of. Um, <clears throat> and another thing, have you know, what's great about an accountant or CPA when you got a good one, you find a good one, you know, is getting that call from him like, hey, you know, where you're at for the month, you you might want to spend some money or you might want to cut back on spending, you know, things like this. Some of the tools I do buy, you know, I buy for tax write-offs. I do. It's you know, I get the call from him, say, hey, you know, you might want to you might want to spend something on the shop or you might want to you might want to put something into the business, you know, because it, it's it's more money for me. He stays on top of that. You know, I, I, I stress this in my videos. You know, I don't want to make all the money. I don't want to I don't want to be you know, I don't want to be working, you know, 80 hour weeks to, uh, you know, give all my money to the government. So, you know, and there is things that I need this shop. There is things that I want. There is good write offs out there that you couldn't use you know, legally just fine. It's your business. You make your choice, you know, within reason. So, you know, half the reason I buy this stuff is because I got that call from my accountant saying, hey, you know, you're making a little bit too much this month. Uh, you might want to spend, you know, or else or else I'm going to be writing the check anyways and giving it to the IRS, the government, the state, whoever, you know, everybody else wants the money. So it is what it is. You know, I've also got those calls saying, hey, you know, you're not doing too well on the slow months. You know, you might want to cut back or, you know, watch what you're doing here or what I've said in my videos, you know, call some of your utilities, see if you can save, save on your cable bills. If you got cable at the shop, see if you can save on your phone line, see if they got any promo packages, things like that. The garbage cutback on garbage, there's, I'm going back and forth with the garbage company. You know, these guys, I'm trapped in a contract. You know, I can't wait to get out of the contract and go with a different garbage company to save some more money. I'm going to save a boatload of money. But my accountant brought that to my attention. You know, I was just writing the checks, paying the bills, getting it paid down. And he's like, hey, you know, you're paying this much. Why are you paying this much? I'm only paying this. I got another guy that doesn't pay this much right in your area. You know, they look out for things like that. You know, especially you make a good relationship. You, you know, you establish a good relationship with your accountant. You know, Henry knows, he knows me, he knows my wife, he's met my kids here, you know, coming here, having meetings with them, seeing where we're at. Um, not so much anymore, you know, he pretty much got things handled. He's coming from a few towns down too, you know, so it's a little bit of a drive for him. But most of our business we do is between email, phone call, you know, maybe a quick, uh, maybe a quick text here and there. But, you know, that's it. You know, there's times where I don't see my accountant for six months, you know, or I might not even talk to him for three, four months. As long as I get him the paperwork he needs on time, most of the time I forget to email him or scan him and send him some information that he needs for the month each month. So he ends up giving me a call, telling me, "Hey, Jim, you want to send me some information I need so I can get this month taken care of." So, but that's my fault, just being busy, and it just goes to show that's why I hired him. That's why I have him doing the books. I barely have time to breathe lately, let alone crunching numbers. You know, it's it's just something. It's not for me. It doesn't. You know, I got into it. I tried it didn't like it and that's why we got the CPA to handle all that side of it you know it's just something if you're into that you know you're good with computers you you're good with numbers and all that stuff and you're also good with turning wrenches or you still want to be a hands-on shop owner or any owner at that matter whatever you do anything you own any business you have if you want to do that side of it it's great yeah you'll save a bunch of money if you got the time for it it's it, it's it does definitely does save money but for me I definitely like using them you know, I'll definitely always have a CPA or at least an accountant to take care of, you know, certain things. I think payroll side of it, you know, it wasn't so bad. I, you know, I guess when things, you know, especially on a slower season, yes, I can make time to, you know, it's not too bad. Most of the stuff, once you get it set up online, uh, you know, especially if you've got guys on salary, things like that, if you track what they have, as long as you have those numbers tracked already, you know, at the end of the week or whatever, it's pretty much just putting the numbers in and printing out a check or whatever it is, direct deposit, however you have it. You know, it's definitely worth paying for an accountant, at least on my side of it. You guys out there, you know, leave a comment below. You guys out there, share your experience. Also, anything you guys want to know on the business side of things, bring up a subject, anything, you know, my personal experience going through it, I'll make a video on it. You know, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to get into. You know, should shop owners offer health insurance? Should shop owners offer 401k? This is all things that I've been through, gone through. You know, you guys want some advice on it, my experience on it, share my thoughts. 
leave a comment below hit me up on Instagram however try to make a video on it but hiring a CPA you know definitely uh, definitely a smart move at least in my eyes you got another guy on your team you got another guy working for you you know it's less of a stress on you less of a hassle less things that you have to worry about so you can focus more on you know taking care of the business the things you want to get taken care of to help your business grow or stay the same or fail whatever you end up whatever you like doing it's your business it's your choice it's your money it's your life but my advice to the question is to ask me I have a CPA I wouldn't have it any other way you know I, I actually I'm at the point now where I trust him enough that you know if I could put more work on him I would I'd pay him to take care of more work but there's just certain things that I have to take care of he's not able to take care of on his side of things it's not like he works in the building but he's definitely worth having definitely worth the money definitely worth looking into making sure my money goes where it needs to go you know making sure when I'm making too much for that month or that quarter you know hey let me know yeah you might want to spend 10 grand you might want to spend a thousand a hundred whatever it is or hey you might want to cut back on this you're looking a little low you know we're in the red this month you know see what you could do to pick it up for next month you know it's nice to have that less things for me to worry about you know it's uh something that you know I want it to be there but only when I want to know you know I only want to know about it when I want to know about it if I don't let him handle it and he'll bring anything to my attention that needs to be brought to my attention so but wrap this one up guys as always like comment subscribe I'm going to get to it early in the morning, get this work done. We'll catch you in the next one. Signing out.